Thanks for joining us on Bobby and Tony Lee Unplugged, where the message is always truthful, authentic, and inspiring. For more information on Bobby and Tony Lee Unplugged, visit bobbyandtonylee.com. Now your hosts, Bobby and Tony Lee. Hello and welcome to Bobby and Tony Lee Unplugged. My name is Tony Lee Adamson. I will be your host today with my very special friend and guest, Eddie Ron. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Eddie is our, what would we say? You are so many things. I am the, um, now the... Uh, Videotographer. I think, I think I'm the creative director now. Creative director. I'm the, the creative director. The producer, the editor. Uh, I'm, the, I'm that. Yes, you do, you do a lot. You yes, do I have logos. Many hats. And logos. Moving sure. logos. Sure. And so let me tell you a little bit about Eddie Ron before we get started. We met, Bobby and I met Eddie in Honolulu. Isn't that a nice place? It is. He was working with a friend of mine that I met at Point Loma Nazarene University in the Masters of Ministry class, and his name is Pastor John Smith. Isn't it Smith? John Miller. Oh my! <laughs> I forgot. Totally she forgot. knows John Miller. She really does. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I've been to John's church a lot, too. <laughs> All right, so uh, John Miller, and uh, he would say, I've got this great guy that attends my church and works with me, and he's a deacon, and he's uh, he does our video. He can do worship. I mean, he just pr sung your praises to the point that I said to Bobby, we got to get that guy to San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Poor John. You know? uh, I'm truly blessed. I yeah, tell you exactly. That. So when we did a couple of our events, on the islands, either we brought Eddie with us or we would meet Eddie there. And so um, just talking about our hearts to the Lord, I have to say that is the primary reason why Eddie's here. You know, working in the ministry is a challenge and working in daily disciples ministries has been a challenge. I mean, I'm always thinking of people who say, oh, I wish, you know, I had a best friend like you have with Bobby or, oh, I wish I had the ministry that you have. But you know what, Eddie? We have seen people come and go from this ministry because the trials are hard. And I do not wish our trials, Bobby separately, mine separately, ours together, on anyone. And so just to bring someone from Honolulu to here, we needed to know you had a heart that was willing to push through the trials to endure the ministry. So can you talk a little bit about that? Awesome. Well, um, I definitely have... Um I would say this about this ministry is when she's teaching spiritual warfare, it's even, <laughs> it's even harder. <laughs> it's even harder. <laughs> I'm going to say that. But um, yeah, I think, um, you know, as we go through um, facing uh, the trials of, of everyday uh, life, it's good to have a God that is so um, uh, forgiving and so uh, full of grace and that just continually helps us to renew our mind and renew our bodies and just keeps forgiving us and restoring us. Because if not, I mean, I, I know I would be a total flop. <laughs> All of us would be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, thank God it's the Lord's mercy that keeps us going forward every day. And mm -hmm. that that mercy is new every morning. I mean, sometimes I have to go to bed early today so that I can wake up with new mercy. Because oh, yeah. I run out during the day. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> so you've been here now since August. And we really couldn't have gotten to the Bobby and Tony Lee Unplugged channel on YouTube without you. Oh. You do all of our videotaping and you did all of those videos for our Power of Hope event at Point Loma Nazarene this year. You traveled with us across the country last year and, uh, and then you made the, the content of those events into product to help the ministry continue to go forward. But what when did you know you were called into this? I'd love for you to talk about your great great grandfather a little bit. Oh well, I can tell you about um, and my like, grandfather. And how did sure. you know? And then you had to endure a lot of mental trials to say, you know, I'm going to push through this and keep perfecting this skill. Sure. Well, um, I will say that um, my family has a history of photography. My grandfather Will Bond was a photographer in Savannah, Georgia, and he did uh, motion picture uh, commercials for things like Esther Williams, swimming pools. That's amazing. Things like that. And uh, local commercials. He also, he played like accordion on the radio. So he was real, you know, he's a creative soul. <laughs> and uh, in the uh, Army, he was in the 7th Army Air Force, and he took um, aerial photography for the, um, for the military. So he would like 
take pictures of um, motion pictures of them, you know, creating yeah. the runways in the Pacific. That is so And cool. then the bombs falling out of the planes and the gun, you know, battles in the sky. And so that was really an interesting uh, an heritage to have, you know, uh -huh. to see that. You can um, see it passed down now to you. Did anybody yeah. else get it in between you and your grandfather? Well, you know, my uncle, um, Bruce, mm -hmm. he's not um, of, of my, it's the other side of the family, mm -hmm. but he was very big in photography. Okay. And after my grandfather passed away, he got a lot of the equipment uh. and started his own uh, trek into uh, photography. And he did that for a while, but he ended up working uh, with uh, Southern Bell and uh, and moved into the computer realm. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Uh, that was he. He helped me with the computers, and now they've come together. Photography and computers have come <laughs> yes, together. The Lord and, has done that. Yes, yes, yes the <laughs> Lord has done that. And so I still had that photography bug, maybe um, in from high school. Mm -hmm. You know, high school, and so I got the uh, the camera that took the big VHS tapes, and I filmed around my high school, and we just did like comedy sketches and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I was the guy behind the camera, not in front of it. Mm -hmm. um, so I am not real comfortable in front of the camera, <laughs> uh, but. I'm lucky to work with uh, some amazing talent that is comfortable in front of the camera, like you and Bobby, and of course, John Miller mm -hmm. at the church. And so um, I had gone into a, a life of um, just uh, debauchery, pretty much. It was kind of a hedonistic life um, after high school. And I had fallen away from the church, and um, I was pretty, I felt pretty angry with God mm -hmm. at that time, mm -hmm. and just was just, you know, I was a drinker and a smoker and a mm -hmm. drug user. And when I finally um, uh, surrendered to Jesus Christ and, you know, and the Holy Spirit took all that away from me, I came back to my, my like love Like in of one day, you've got to explain that. Well, How did he take that away from you? Well, he took it away. I mean, at first, you know, I was um, unhappy as, you know, as a drug user and all, you become depressed and unhappy. Mm -hmm. And I lost everything and was homeless. Mm -hmm. And it was, a, it was a bad time. So at first I kind of, I got off the harder drugs and then I still was um, dabbling in that once in a while and still drinking and, of course, smoking mm -hmm. cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had started going to church in Hawaii at a Nazarene church, the church mm -hmm. that I ended up um, really uh, becoming, like you said, like an elder in the yeah. church. And uh, through that time... Um, Oh, now I'm kind of blanking. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm saying, did you get healed in one day? And you're yeah, saying, well, no. Like, when we look back, we feel like it was one day, but there's a process. The Lord helps us through the process of healing. So you got involved with that Nazarene church while you were still kind of weaning yourself out of that lifestyle. Right. Is that was, how you came to Jesus, through that Nazarene yeah, church? Yeah, it, it was through that Nazarene church. I had um, continued to go. I was still kind of on the periphery of the group, but I continued to go here and there kind of sporadically. And finally, just one day, uh, I don't know how to put it, it's like the Holy Spirit fell on me. It's mm -hmm. one of those, and suddenly, mm -hmm. and suddenly, yeah. uh, Jesus just took that away from me. Really? And, uh, yeah. So it did happen in one it day? Happened, it happened like in a moment. Interesting. And it was, mm -hmm. um, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, there are and suddenlies in the Bible, mm -hmm. and I, I see that now, mm -hmm. um, you know, after the fact. Mm -hmm. But it really was like that. And mm -hmm. so since that time, I've not had a desire to, to drink and drug. Mm -hmm. And I can say that honestly, it has changed my life in ways I didn't think it would. Mm -hmm. For example, I thought it would be really boring to have a life Isn't outside of drugs That's and alcohol. That's been like the theme of the week, boring. Being boring, bored. yeah. I thought it would yeah. be boring, but right. it's actually um, the happiest I've ever been in my life. Yeah. And, and I did get back into photography, and I got a computer, and I was like a duck to water. You know, it's just um, uh, kind of experimenting with the uh, different uh, software. And... Uh, the pastor had invited me to go to a class um, at our local um, cable company. Mm -hmm. And I went and did that. And next thing you know, we bought a camera and we started putting uh, the pastor on television. Hmm. So you got to hear his messages, which reinforced this new life oh, you yeah. were living. So oh, you yeah. were like, that's so cool how the Lord did that. Oh, it was like all he, about he put a barrier with the pastor as your friend that you're recording. Exactly. That's amazing. Exactly. That's so cool. Yeah. So then you did that for a couple of years mm -hmm. and that church is Wahiwa? Yes. Church of the a, Nazarene? Wahiwa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of in the middle of Oahu. 
And you know, Eddie, when we met you there, when Bobby and I met you, you were doing everything. I mean, you you had an office in the basement, mm -hmm. and then the next thing you know, you were changed and you were painting the wall. And then yeah. the next thing you know, <laughs> you were changed and you were upstairs running the soundboard. Then the next thing you know, you are doing the mic checks. Then you are on the worship team. Then you introduced the I mean, I thought, this guy has many talents. So <laughs> it was amazing. And then you were videotaping us as we were teaching. And, uh, and I thought, boy, it's funny that you thought it would be boring because your personality no. does not do well with boring either. No, no, But no. you have, God has multiplied your time yeah, and talents certainly. immensely. <laughs> certainly, even at the church, I just started, you know, doing small things like uh, cutting the grass and um, Well, you used to coffee. do the food, too. Yeah, well, we started doing, um, well, I started doing coffee. And then what we did was, um, again, God brought together a great group of people at that time for that mission to um, rejuvenate the church because mm -hmm. it had really become very run down. And within a matter of years, we had um, completely painted the church, put a new roof on the church, re-landscaped the church. And those are kind of just physical things, but also um, put in like a coffee shop, right. um, which you see in a lot of As churches, but this is a small church. We're yeah, talking like a church outreach, of 30 right. or 40 people. Yeah. And kind of started engaging with the neighborhood mm -hmm. and started doing more things for the kids. We'd have like little plays and all with the kids and stuff like that. It was fun, you yeah. know? And um, plus putting the uh, the pastor on television and being able to um, highlight different ministries within the church on that program, like um, the uh, different people who did uh, ministries for the homeless uh -huh. or uh, recovery ministries like Celebrate Recovery and put that then on the television. And so get the people involved. That's and so it cool. was, yeah. It all happened really fast, and mm -hmm. um, a lot of people were very, very moved. In touch. Well, right now, if you've just uh, tuned in to Bobby and Tony Lee Unplugged, I am interviewing Eddie Ron. He works with and for Bobby and I with Daily Disciples Ministries and also with Media for Women. And what Media for Women is, it is a marketing media company. And what we do is we, we have heard the cries of people everywhere who are saying, <laughs> You know, the online world, yeah, how do you use it for free? And how can you make money from it? And does your website make any money for you? And, and a big component of the websites today is the video. Uh, you need video, not only for YouTube, but for your website. People want to get to know you before they call you. And Eddie, I've always said, he has the gift of exhortation. So if you hire him as your video guy, he will exhort you in what to say, how to say it, and then he edits it down so you look amazing. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that is our goal because, you know, we just want good video with good audio and that is going to make all the difference. I mm -hmm. mean, if you can uh, get onto your website, not just in a paragraph or a photograph, but get there in the video where people can meet you uh, from all over the world. People mm -hmm. can come and see you on your website and hear straight from the horse's mouth what you have to offer, mm -hmm. be it a, you know, a nonprofit or a for-profit business. Mm -hmm. You can share your message. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it has a ripple effect. It has a ripple effect. Yeah, anything you do online even, has a ripple effect. Even in the SEO and stuff, you cannot, like you were mentioning YouTube, Google owns YouTube. Right. And so for you to get really into their algorithms, you're going to have to have video and you're going to have to have video on YouTube. And we can do that like that. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are good at that. We have a wonderful green screen studio. We mm -hmm. have uh, great microphones. Mm -hmm. uh, we have everything you need. Good cameras. Mm -hmm. We have good people. Not just me, but now we have Kaylin on board. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. And we have Emily mm -hmm. to share all of this on the social media. Right. So once that gets moving, I mean, you, you really are, ex you know, shared out there. How can I say shared? You're really, you're um, well, you, it's multiplying. It's expanding. Yeah, you're multiplying. And you exactly. want to monetize it. You want to make money. Matter of fact, we have an event coming up. Eddie will be there. Bobby and I are actually hosting it. And we're partnering with ABC Studios and also Scripps Media. And Google is coming. A representative from Google is coming. And this event is Saturday, March 19th at the La Jolla Marriott. Um, it's all day. It's a one-day summit. And for all of those... All of you who are saying, I'm too far behind, I don't feel like I can catch up, this is the event for you. We have topics like, what is SEO and how can I make it work for me? Who can I hire that I know that they even know what they're doing? Uh, 
does your website make money for you? Do you have a clear call to action? What are some of the other things you're talking about? Social media, social is that so, yeah. that's free, but how can I use it to my advantage in a marketing way? And Google's coming to tell us what's coming next. You know how we're always talking about the algorithm change and now what am I gonna do? Well, it doesn't happen that quickly. So at some point, we just have to educate ourselves so that we know when the change has happened. We're on Facebook so much we know when they make changes. Oh yeah. I mean, that's not like some big surprise. We go, oh, yeah, look, now they have emojis. You know, big deal. They're I know the Google, they were going to talk about social media marketing. Is that yes, correct? Yes, social um, media marketing, which yes. Which is very, it's just the next level of if you can uh, tweet and, and post on Facebook, there's another level that you can go and actually market your business. Uh, professionally. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, you can call us at 800-992-0369. We would love to see you there. And if you're interested in hiring Eddie, I can tell you this, Daily Disciples is a ministry, but Media for Women is a ministry too. We really believe that God has given you a calling and he's given you a purpose. And it might be to sell cell phones. We have somebody coming on board who sells cell phones. He knows that's his ministry. Well, we want to see God bless you in your ministry, regardless of what that might look like. And if you need an, a video, we know that the going rate is um, $1,000, like an edited minute. And we charge under $1,000 for a fully produced up to three minutes video. That's so right. I don't know how much longer that price is going to go because we're getting busy, but the first three people who call, I'll give you that price. Okay. And call because I want to make a video for you. Yeah, he loves you. He's so This is friendly. an opportunity. One of the best things that's happened to me here is I've been able to come into full-time ministry, and that is not as a pastor. I'm not a pastor, but I'm a video professional. You are a preacher, and, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you want to be a pastor. You, but, you can preach with the best of them. But, uh, but I am a, a videographer and editor, and I would love to produce a video for you. That's, <laughs> that's a beautiful video with great sound that would just, um, you know, accent any website, any message. In an amazing green screen room. Oh, yeah. yeah. We could even do training videos. We could help you train your employees. Mm -hmm. If you need to demonstrate your product, we can do a product demonstration. Mm -hmm. We can uh, come to you or you can come to us. Either mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. uh, we're fully mobile. We can travel. Yeah. We're good at traveling. Yeah, no, yeah, it's good. And that whole Google seminar on September, on Saturday, March 19th, will be videotaped too. So you can, if you're going to miss it, you can buy it at that point too. For sure. So uh, please give us a call, 800-992-0369. So Eddie, we have a few more minutes. Anything mm -hmm. you want to share? Well, um, let's see. I do want to share about the Bonita Valley. Did you Have you talked about that? The yeah, spiritual I, warfare the study. The spiritual warfare study is happening oh, now. That's why. Believe us. <laughs> I can tell you this, we just did the spiritual warfare study at Celebrate Church of the Nazarene up in Claremont. And every time Eddie and I were driving down to the church, my daughter from Chicago would call me crying. Like with some, it was almost, it did not matter if we left an hour before. It did, matter. It did not matter if we were gonna go to dinner before. Yeah. I mean, it was like clockwork that this time I called her and I said, okay, we're doing the spiritual warfare study yeah. now on Thursday, so be prepared. So she has been, but I did ask the Lord. I said to the Lord, Lord, now we're doing it in the morning and the night at Bonita Valley. It's off the 805 um, and Bonita, and then you go east, and it's at Bonita Valley Christian Church. It's 2.5 miles down from the 805. It's in the morning at 10 a.m. and it's in the evening at 6.30. And I've got to say the mornings and the nights are different teachings. So you can come either time, but we're recording the nights. And um, I prayed to the Lord and I said, Lord, please keep my kids out of the trials this time. Mm -hmm. So it's funny, today was uh, day one, because we're pre-recording, so today was day one. As, and as I'm driving in this horrible traffic down to Bonita Valley from Carlsbad, I have Bobby calling me saying, she just got in a big fight with somebody. And then I have Eddie on the other side saying, I am so angry right now. And I thought, oh boy, the warfare has hit us instead. <laughs> That's for sure. But the daughter is good because I heard from Ellie today. Okay. Um, she was on a, uh, a FaceTime call and um, she sounded very happy. <laughs> So I'm, okay, I'm glad so the for kids her. Are, yeah, the kids are in good shape. But we would appreciate your prayers. We would appreciate your support in any way. If you'd like to be a sponsor for this show, we would love to talk to you about that. Um, 
usually people give $25 a month to keep us on the air. If that's, if that's something that the Lord's leading your heart to do, we would love to be supported in that way. Again, you could call 800-992-0369. You've been listening to Bobby and Tony Lee Unplugged. You can watch us on uh, youtube.com and then go to Bobby and Tony Lee channel and you can watch any of these from KPRZ 1210 a.m. at 10 a.m. and we look forward to meeting you soon especially on Saturday March 19th please click on to mediaforwomen.com for more information or you can always call us at 800-992-0369 and that's it for today thank you so much for listening and we will see you soon Thanks for tuning in to Bobby and Tony Lee Unplugged. Tune in every day on air and online. For more real life, real answers from Bobby and Tony Lee, subscribe to the Bobby and Tony Lee channel. And for more information, visit BobbyandTonyLee.com.